hello everybody good evening good evening i believe that we've been having a lovely week um this is another saturday and this is the first saturday in the month of december you know is 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 a privilege that we are um uh, uh, we are alive in the last month of year 2021 it's a very big privilege and it's something that we should not um, take light it's something that we should be grateful to god for you know and so tonight um we'll be taking a prayer we'll be starting a prayer series which i've titled running with roots running with roots um it, it is it's stemming from the fact that this is the um month of december and one pronounced uh festival that we have in the month of december is what we call christmas which um is a time that we have you know earmarked for celebrating the birth of our lord jesus christ and um usually in in such festivals like christmas easter sometimes the lord gives me an unusual insight into one of the characters that you know when you talk about christmas for example you know the attention is always on jesus when you talk about easter it's always on the cross but you know sometimes god gives me unusual insight into into the the, the characters that played some roles in those festivals that we usually don't mention right so for this christmas god began to open my eyes to the story of ruth do you understand and how we can apply what she did in in order to enter the fullness of our destiny because ruth was a moabite ruth was not a seed of israel she was not a bethlehemite but she she found herself or she walked her way into the genealogy of jesus do you understand so we are going to be taking a series using her story you know drawing out points from her story and praying them into our lives so that we can enter it does not matter where you are currently do you understand it does not matter because um um root if the natural scheme of things were meant to be you know followed she would not or she should not be part of the genealogy of jesus so it does not matter where you are currently it does not matter what you think has disqualified you if you can just take this journey with truth we are going to find out that you know you are going to enter your prophetic destiny and so tonight I want to start with the first series but before we go into the story of truth i just want you to shut your eyes wherever you are and begin to ponder on how god has been faithful to you and begin to you know in your mind begin to recount the goodness of the lord the scripture will say that the lord is good and is valid is a valid truth the lord is good and his mercies endures forever the lord is good and his mercies endures forever <laughs> ah for the lord is good and his mercies endures forever <laughs> the lord is good and his mercies endures forever can you just ponder on the goodness of the lord towards you towards your family your children your spouse your parents your siblings uh, in your work in your business and the work of your hands can you just begin to ponder oh how god has saved you from diverse temptations how he has saved you from diverse things are diverse arrows that the enemy has uh, you know thrown at you he has been god all the way can you just go ahead and lift up your voice and magnify the lord in this in this time uh, can you say lord i give you the praise lord i give you the glory <laughs> lord Talia, for you are good and your mercies endures forever for you are good and your mercies endures forever for you are good and your mercies endures forever you are good your mercies and yours forever shana mana kaika those in america he had the dead men in us yeah those moments and it was as though you were you were you were just about to be put to shame but god came through for you those moments where it seemed as though the enemy has had this way in your life god came through for you oh jacute bella risco it seemed as as though your life was about to end but god came through for you can you just lift up your voice tonight and um, lift up your voice tonight uh, and magnify the holy one of israel 
lift up your voice tonight uh, and give him the praise and give him the glory oh jekute bele risko baratalia resune meritaila gonde beria zevaratalia impene no jekade riso baratale bele rusie tene mananat kuze pradia onto you mene deke bele kede ele no zeze neke de lima ruse barata lene no jekaduri esudo berete resudo bekalia dono mene ka resudo Le Taila Mando Jekade Resuno Meriga Don Zene Peleka El Le Men Jengon Don Omerika Reso De Berikalia Tosia Oh Go Ahead And Lift Up Your Voice Go Ahead And Let Your Sound Ah Mereshia Rise Unto The Lord Tonight Let Your Voice Be Heard Oh By Jehovah Nisi Let Your Voice Be Heard In The Landscape Of Heaven Let Your Voice Be Heard Oh Genos Emara Lay your gratitude rise unto the Lord tonight. Oh, lay your heart of worship. Le suso pretena mara suno merita. Le pene ne sudo pregadosia. Let it rise unto the Lord tonight. E re sudo baradi lentons gamalata. For the Lord is good and His mercies endures forever. The Lord is good uh, and his mercies endures forever. Uh, the Lord is good. Oh man, I shady at the name of Kabarati Veratali Gati Belatanania. The Lord is good. Uh, uh, the Lord is good. Oh Shibala Kose Veriatini Mini Kebelata. The Lord is good. Oh Mene Kude Mene Kayada. The Lord is good. His mercies endures forever. Imanane Jagadeli Maru Severati Evelataya. Epekute Mene Kayina no Jariatamnia. The Lord is good, O Beresivara Talia. His mercies endures forever. Jesus, we worship you, God. You are God, the Lord. Ekamanana. You are on your throne, Kabelede. You are on the throne, Meredesivara Taha. You are God, the Lord. From before time began, Jekanama. You are on your throne, Beresune Balataya. You are on the throne, Lerusebelatalia. You are on change, Bushakadabaha. You do not change, O Shabadataya. You are God all by yourself, O. You do not change, O. You are the same yesterday, You are the same today, you remain the same tomorrow. You are God alone, O. There is none that can that can contest with you are you are God alone ha ipalane jene mene kade resu no mere kalia dudu vele tene me kaya gade jegede balataya you are God alone no you are God and you are good ha you are God alone you are God and you are good balas koto beri severi ata balata repre de vele tande bekete ya ha oh you are right there the enemy has convinced you that your life has not been good ha you are there the enemy has convinced you uh, that you know, you know, you know, you know, you have, you have, you have not had it good in this year. Yes, the, he may bring in instances where it was as though you were, you were, you were forsaken. But I want to tell you tonight, ah, Kabana Suso Prenia, can you just shift your focus uh, from those moments that it was as though you were, you were, you were forsaken uh, and put them on the works of God that He has done. When you cast your mind back, you will surely see what God has done. Uh, but what the enemy wants to do is to put your focus put your focus on the things that seemed as though they did not work out well uh, he wants you uh, 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 to keep focusing on them on uh, you get to the point where you conclude that God is not for you. Where you conclude that you know, you know, I am going to do anything it takes. Uh, I I don't mind what God thinks. Uh, I'm going to sort out my life. Uh, I'm going to sort out myself. That is the point he's driving you to. Yes, I'm talking to you. In, in particular, he's just the person I'm talking to right now. He wants to drive you to that point where you take matters into your hands, uh, where you, it's as though you are tired of, of, of waiting on God. Uh, because, oh, Jetalia, the enemy wants you to so focus on those things that have not worked out well that you 
begin to go against the precepts of God. Uh, you begin to take matters into your hands. Uh, you begin to do things that are not in line with the will of God for you. Uh, just to make ends meet. Uh, God is saying, do not fall for the antics of the enemy. I am for you. I am with you. Ki o jeka de maraha. Resuso predia e kabalate. Jekutele rus everia tabalata. Resuso frania. Can you just cast your attention uh, on the things that God has done for you? Uh, cast your attention uh, on the works of God, ah, geno pres in copperi as also preniata, resuto pregabaha, and tenebelata. He says, I am coming through for you, I am coming through for you, yet a little while, yet a little while, ha, a resuso predia, he will not tarry, genos and si brano cabilata, resuso predia da balata, hold on, ha, hold on, ha, melanoja, listen to my voice, listen to my voice, my daughter, listen to my voice. Listen to my voice, listen to my voice, walk in my ways, and I will make your path set. I will dip your feet uh, in oil. Uh, walk in my path. Uh, walk in my way. Uh, walk according to my precepts. Uh, and I will dip your feet in oil. Resuno baratila rus ebarata. Repragados entebegodua. Le rus ebreno rapalata. Follow me. Follow me, my daughter. And I will bring you into your broad place. Uh, I will bring you into your wealthy place. Uh, follow me, genons and zoprene barata. Le sunya. Let your obedience be complete. Uh, let your obedience be complete. Complete. Let your obedience be complete. Oh, Jeka di Dodo Berigadia. Resuno Mary Hante Kepelata. Go ahead and worship God. Go ahead and give him the praise. E resuno mene mentene ne maha. E resuso pretene beleta. E kopene ne mojana kanaha. Our hearts are full of gratitude, Lord. Our hearts are full. Oh, Jena Manderus e Falanakia. Be thou exalted, Lord. Be thou magnified as strength one of Israel. In the name of Jesus, we have worshipped. Amen and amen. Um, and based on the word that God gave um, while we were worshipping, if you are there and, you know, in the recent past, all your heart, all that has been occupying your mind, your heart, is, is what has not been working well in your life and those thoughts are driving you to the point of desperation and you are beginning to decide that you know you are just going to do anything to salvage the situation you are just going to take matters into your hand, hand hands and salvage in your own in your own um in your own time salvage the situation god is saying do not do that do not do that you know um i was studying a scripture with my family yesterday and um it was the story of abraham right in the book of hebrews chapter 13 where god um apostle paul was writing and he began to say that god made a promise to abraham and he 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 swore an oath he says by two immutable things it is impossible for god to lie by his promise and his oath so he made a promise to abraham and he swore an oath to abraham yet the scripture said that abraham had to patiently wait do you understand had to be he, he obtained the promise through patience do you understand so the promises of god are okay the promise of god has been made to you what you need is patience do you understand you know as you wait for the promise have the right attitude L- look upon the faithfulness of god don't allow the enemy to move you away from your focus on god do you understand so as you as you as you receive the promise of god you must also receive the grace to patiently you know wait for the manifestation of the promise because the vision is for an appointed time it yet it will not tarry you understand it will not tarry so god is saying look up to me focus on the good do you understand don't allow the enemy make you focus on what seems not to be working in your life and make you you know get the spirit all right so um um tonight we'll be starting the series on 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 roots so um it's not a a chapter by chapter study or verse by verse i will just be picking each week for the next maybe two or three weeks i'll just be picking one or two verses from you know the chapter and then we will pray them into our lives like i said earlier earlier on um ruth was not an israelite 
Ruth was not um, from Bethlehem, which is where our Lord Jesus, um, uh, his natural birth. But she found her way into the family line of Jesus. She was not an Israelite, yet she, be- she became the great grandmother of Jesus. Right? She found herself into the tribe. Into <laughs> so, it's something that should, you know, prick our hearts and we'll be like, how did she do this? How did she do this? So, the first point I want to make t- tonight is from the book of Ruth chapter 2. Now, that place opens with um, Ruth speaking with her mother-in-law and telling her that, you know, she desires to go to glean to see if God before he would give her grace in the eyes of the reapers. You know, in those days in, 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 the, in, in Israel, when, when the harvest is being reaped, you know, the ones, the small ones that fall off, the harvesters don't pick them they leave them for people that are you know that, that have leads they'll just come and pick those ones that are um, littered on the ground so they don't they don't they don't they are not they don't pack everything do you understand as they harvest the little crumbs as it were that fall to the ground are left for people that don't have so they will come and you know follow the reapers as they are as they are, as, as they are reaping they'll be picking the the grains falling off so that was what Ruth told her mother-in-law that she wanted to do and her mother-in-law told her go that God will be with her but that's not my point for today my point for today is that she went to do that and the scripture says that she she went to a field and part of that field belonged to Boaz number one she went to a field so it means that there were several other fields that she she could that she could have gone to but she went to this field that a part a portion belonged to boaz that's in verse you know you can see the story in Ruth chapter 2 and my focus is in verse 3 and 4 or thereabouts so she went to this field and a portion belonged to boaz and the scripture said that as she reaped she came to the portion that belonged to boaz and behold boaz came in from the city do you understand so we see that among the several fields that she could have gone to she went to the field that boaz had a portion in number one number two it happened that when she came to the portion of boaz was when boaz was coming in from the city and came to see his servants number two do you understand and then he asked them who is this lady you know gleaning um with you and they told her told him you know is so 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 so. and we know the rest of the story he married her and then they gave birth to a son the son gave birth to jesse jesse gave birth to david you know jesus came from the from the loins of david right so what i'm what i want us to pray about today is that just as Ruth had right positioning she was positioned rightly in the sense that among the several fields that she could have gone to the lord led her to a particular field that is right position number two is right timing as she was gleaning in that field it happened that when she came to the portion of boaz that was when boaz came question what if she was not in the portion of boaz at that point what she, what if she was afar off in another portion and boaz did not get to see her so in the destiny in our destinies we need these two elements right positioning and right timing to be able to fulfill that which god has called us to fulfill do you understand so you may have all the skills you may be diligent because ruth was a diligent person we we'll see pray about that I believe in in our um, subsequent meetings um she was a diligent person she said let me go and glean so she was not a lazy person but had it been she had only diligence and did not have right timing and right positioning she would still have missed her destiny do you understand so it's one thing to be skilled it's another thing to be diligent in your skill area but it's yet another thing to have the elements of time and position right 
Do you understand? So a person can be so skillful at what he or she does, but but the person will not have right placement and right timing to be able to, you know, for God to be able to expose his skills to the world. Do you understand? You know, Kaya no Moshi Atali Arus Emparanosia. So tonight I want you to take this prayer seriously and begin to pray that God would guide you and lead you to be positioned accurately and to have right timing working for you divine timing divine positioning in your affairs in your daily affairs go ahead and pray in the name of jesus that the lord would help you kabanante resune beria tonovenia eco peleteja quante resia that in your life you will continually work according to divine timing and you'll be positioned accurately in the name of jesus haha resune melata e kompenenesha kuderi seruse balata resune pelenia that positioning that would allow your skills to be seen by kings haha resuno mekalia nedozune peleta that you will just do something according to divine timing and you it will it will it will give you visibility resunia ecopelenia there are many persons that can do what you do and even do it better than you can do it but when you have a right positioning and right timing you will go farther than they so when the scripture talks um uh, 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 speaks of god giving us an oil of gladness above our contemporaries this is part of what he's talking about that he's saying that there is an oil that you can carry it will distinguish you from your mates it will distinguish you from people that have the same skill set like you do from people that are working in the same place like you do when you have the elements of right positioning and right timing working for you you will go farther than your mates you will go farther than your equals Belarusie tonanga esune melete resuso preganante egada rosie tegede meshukutu legede resuno paragade resudo vara ikopeletie sonomaha lord in the name of jesus in our businesses in our lives in our careers lord we activate the elements of right positioning and right timing in the name of jesus i walk according to your divine plan i walk according to divine ordination in the name of Jesus, Perusiete, Resune Egabanturu, Osie Gabarande, Lesude Kalanusia Gadana, Resuso Precadaha. In the name of Jesus. Now, there's an example that I usually give because it's, a, it's, it's recent. Now, I, I belong to um several telegram groups. Do you understand? And one day I just opened my telegram um app and as it were strode into one of the groups and behold i saw a message from from somebody to the group and if you are familiar with telegram groups it can accommodate thousands of individuals so thousands of messages are coming in every now and then so i entered the telegram app and one of the messages i messages that i saw is is there any graphic designer in this place i need a design or something like that so someone was looking for a graphic designer and i am a graphic designer now i'm giving you the statistics so that you know that it's not just it's not just um it's not just coincidence as a believer it, nothing don't 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 just believe in the element of coincidence no it's called divine alignment divine direction god guiding you turning the earth to your favor do you understand we still pray for that but thousands of people in the group thousands of messages usually what i do is to enter you know just scroll very very um very fast then click the arrow down and you know it it takes me to the last message you know i I just try to you know skim through so the chances of me not seeing that message that message was high but according to divine direction 
and according to you know the plan of god and his timing and positioning i came in at that time i was able to see the message at that time he dropped the message not long from when i came in so chances of meeting him are slim but because of the element of right positioning and timing do you understand god brought me into that relationship so i chatted up the guy and over the um the time frame that you know we've been working um, together that relationship has yielded hundreds of dollars do you understand that is what i'm talking about where you you your your feet are guided your feet they are guided positioned rightly god leads you and timing too important he leads you at the right time so you are at the right place at the right time meeting the right people and moving forward do you understand so what i'm talking about is iacania is beyond coincidence where you just stumble as it were into a group of people and you know they are just discussing something that you need to move your life forward for your next level they are just talking about something that will launch you into your next level that is the kind of direction i'm talking about this divine positioning divine timing that i'm talking about where you know you know you know you know god brings you into places that 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 launch you into the greater version of yourself divine timing divine positioning so as we begin to wrap up we'll pray that you know the scripture says that god sits upon the circles of the earth right he said he sits upon the circles of the earth now if god is sitting upon the circles of the earth it means that he can rotate the earth in whichever direction he wants it to go right so we are going to be praying that god will rotate the earth to our favor he will rotate the earth to position us rightly and to bring us into divine timing do you understand so that's the prayer that god will cause the earth to rotate in our favor he will cause the earth to rotate in our favor go ahead and pray oh Jenata, he that is seated upon the circles of the earth <laughs> eh, so we are confident that kuberisia we are confident that god can rotate the earth and he will indeed rotate it ana jekus etenia resune ekumba ekurua zenia etoleka jekute resuse varandie osinia kubene londuske otolia varansie lekwa jekube Berusi venetela la suno obara inko peria suno venete jekuto nemandia to bring us into our prophetic destinies ros eiso eguate le belenoshie karusie velentos amanaya resusu venetena pelusia eguagi gonze ruse barande la sunie ekwala beshuneke durusine vele pelkunde igana rosono meneka aso no molotom de 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 is a suno falanasha mane sune vana naki ando shaha the art rotates in the name of jesus to bring us divine alignment to bring us divine positioning in the name of jesus kabala no shi kabala nasya esuze frania tabalata now i see um 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 it's like a fire and is consuming things devastating things so we are going to be praying against fire accidents we are going to be praying against fire accidents you are going to be securing yourself your family people connected to you and saying no to any form of fire accidents go ahead kabbalah russia in the name of jesus we declare that this plan of the enemy will not come to pass. We stop every fire. 
in the name of Jesus, we declare Kaba, Risodo Venia, Jekute Labara, Resunia, we nullify this plan of the enemy, we nullify this scheme of darkness in the name of Jesus, we declare that we are protected and defended. We say no to any form and every form of fire accident in the name of Jesus. Parasune e kada nenosha resuze vretone beletena e kwade risuno varania le suto kopele jekuto no bene resude venende e kobenetunia rusene varania ko e sendele de pakwala de yegodos intenene jata resuno beletea e kombenia we surround ourselves our families our properties in the name of jesus with the blood of jesus we declare that we are surrounded we are protected by the blood of jesus the blood of jesus is for us in the name of jesus we put out that fire in the spirit in the name of jesus we put out that fire in the spirit in the name of jesus we declare you will not be made manifest in the earth realm in the name of Jesus. We are secured. We are secured in this December. We are secured. Our properties are secured in the name of Jesus. Persude da kute nemeno kabarate resude velenia jukutene resuso pretena ekumene anaha wikade resuneka epalaneja resuzu pretena pelene. Jekuduade, Resune Vele Tainate, Imana no Jiganane, Sunomeruhate, Resuso Vele Taya, Pelenoma Jiganana no Siana. He said that he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus, we abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus, He will give His angels a special charge over us. Oh, they will bear us in their hands. We will not dash our foot against the stone in the name of Jesus. Menenage Kadi Barus Everta Resune Melecantes Kate Baraha Rescopele Nemantono Bokovreha Resus of Rete de Pena Beleno Jica Rus Eve Rusene Belua Rus Envelati Ecopele no Jaca de Rus Eveleta. Oh Jesus, we thank you. We give you the praise in the name of Jesus. We have prayed. Amen and Amen. Father Lord, we thank you. Glory be to you, Father. Glory be to you, Father. Glory be to you, Father. Hande Pelekadash. Glory be to you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Ah. Oh, Perusi Brene Kandia. Koberuse Frentono Menetanish. Zesu Frende Kabara Handishia. In the name of Jesus. Just lift up your hands wherever you are. As I make declarations over you. You know, I wanted to end the prayer, but I, I, I just get feeling a resistance in my spirit not to and to um, make declarations for this December over your life. Just lift up your hands right there in the name of Jesus. Kahadesh, Jesus, Efrete, Epalarusia, Zetela, Roshiaka, Zenetela, Roshiege, Zonoviria, Kredisha. I see the oil running down your face. Genetela resuzo fredia kabaladiesia going down, down, down. Resuzo frenia tanimoto receive retene manojia ka ruseita le kujia egande le receive resu fretida barandishia ka sodofrika lia dudu fenetali jekania. I declare in this December things are smooth for you. By reason of the oil, things are smooth for you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jeka, oil is what makes things smooth. I declare things become smooth in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Resusophrenia in your business in this month of December, things become smooth in the name of Jesus. In your career, in your academics, things become smooth in your marriage, in the in your in, in parenting, in your family, things become smooth in the name of Jesus. I declare Kamalate Jesus You went into more in the name of Jesus. Oh, the lines fall onto you in pleasant places because you have a 
the beautiful inheritance in the in the name of jesus i declare that increase comes to you i declare that you enter into more and more into your purpose into your assignment into your ordination in the name of jesus i declare that strength comes upon you in the name of jesus for the month of december to finish strong to finish well in the name of jesus i release the finishers anointing upon you in the name of jesus you will finish 2021 in grand style in the name of jesus 2021 will not see the end of you you will see the end of 2021 and you will strike a note of victory Ah, jekotela resuse you strike a note of victory you strike a note of victory ah barusiata resuse frania de lukwa ragadish kudu lakrania zoso breni kabarano shah some months in the year 2021 you know has brought yes to you but in this december you will strike a note of victory in the name of jesus you strike a note of victory in the name of jesus you strike in oba uba ukwa resute frania your eyes are opened up in the name of jesus your eyes are opened up reshagada balate res Suso Prania, your eyes are opened in the name of Jesus. Your eyes are opened. Ah, resono malatamne, resunia kabala dia duze feleta. They are open the shugwa. Resuzo Prania to beleta. Regedena resuzo pranate ya gobende aluga rusiya brandika dadu shatalia. Resunia to follow the way of the Lord. They are open to follow the leadings of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, He leads you into your broad place. In the name of Jesus, he leads you into your wealthy place. Uh, in the name of O Parakada, he says the Lord crowns Jekutele uh, Paraha. He crowns the year with his goodness. Uh, Resuso Prania, his paths drop fatness. Uh, I declare your year is crowned with goodness. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, uh, the paths of the Lord drop fatness. Uh, therefore, as you follow him, you eat of the fatness. Uh, in the name of Jesus, O Meneka, the Ruse Varadi, Agetende Kobalata, I release your angels for you. In the name of Jesus, uh, oh Menisha, they bear this words uh, and they activate it and they make it manifest in your life uh, in the name of Jesus. You that has no child, rejoice. Shekote beletala, resu pretali krani shika palate. For you take in ikabalato, resu prekania, jekolia, your natural child, the ruse verusia, gande ekobarata. In the name of Jesus, kivarusia, kaditosia, according to the time of life. In the name of Jesus, you will bear forth kaba irusia, the rusi vrahade. You will bring forth ikabaus ekarosh eganama, resu frandia, because because the oil dissolves every challenge, every issue, every problem, everything that has held, you know, uh, ha, has held the manifestation of your baby in the name of Jesus. Kadeja, the oil dissolves it right now. The resuse, resuse fre and nemana, a quale clane, jecodia, a sude varania, jecote belete. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Thank you very much. We thank you lord thank you very much for joining us this night god bless you and if you feel led to continue do it to continue you can just pray in the spirit pray in the holy ghost pray in tongues and align yourself to the holy spirit and declare the things that he drops in your spirit man you know that's the way to advance in god's kingdom thank you very much thank you for joining um we would love you to share the video now what's the reason for sharing the video is so that more people can see the video the more you share the more people see the video and the more they join what god is doing and also leave your comments leave your likes as you do that what happens is that you know um the video also gains visibility do you understand and then more people pray with us so thank you very much do well to do um all these things and you know we will love you for that <laughs> all right thank you very much see you next week saturday for another time of prayer god bless you mm -hmm.